Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of this PCB milling machine build. I am JCRP and this is Media Miller. Here you are watching the second episode. If you want to watch the first episode where I build this frame, then please click on the top right corner. In the second episode, I will be building the smooth rods on which the X axis and the Y axis will slide. I have bought this LM8UU linear bearings that go on this 8mm smooth rod shafts. Now I have to design a holder that will hold these and also some blocks to hold the linear bearings. Let's dive in. To 3D model the parts, I use Fusion 360. The smooth rod holder needs to be about 30mm high so that it allows room for the motor to be placed beneath it. Here the walls of the holder is kept at 5mm for better strength. Then a solid block with a height of 30mm is given. This will be secured to the frame using M6 screws. So to accommodate the head of the screw, I kept the base to be around 30mm wide. I closed one side of the holder with a 5mm thickness wall so that the rods don't slip out. This should be enough, but then it wouldn't really hurt to have some chamfer and fillet, would it? There is no point in reinventing the wheel. So for the linear blocks, I picked up these models from Thingiverse. This model also has this washer, but for me it worked well just without it. All the models were sliced using Simplify 3D where I set 80% infill for greater strength. The holes on the linear block had a good tolerance, so with very little pressure I was able to push the linear bearing into the block. Rotating the block will apply even pressure on the bearing. The smooth rod that I bought on eBay was oversized. With a thin cutting disc on the angle grinder, I was able to cut it to size. The handle on the angle grinder helped greatly. All the parts were printed at 0.2mm layer height and with an infill of 80%. The chosen material was ABS because it is strong and can take some abuse. Now that all the parts are ready, I can quickly put it together. I remember seeing this video from Tech2C channel where he built the Hypercube 3D printer. In one of his hacks, he had 4 bearings. This gave him the binding problem while trying to move all the bearings together. Then he finally decided to use a 3 bearing arrangement. 2 on one shaft and 1 bearing in the other shaft. This way the problem was solved. I will link the video on the top right corner so you can check it out and understand what I mean. Then when I actually looked into my Prusa 3D printer bed plate, I also found the same kind of arrangement of the bearings. So I just followed the same. Hence two bearings on one shaft and just one on the other. I have left the shafts loose because once I put the Y axis plate, I can move it to the each end and then screw them down. This way each shaft will be perfectly parallel to one another. For the X axis I pretty much followed the same process. For the upper shaft two bearings were added and for the lower shaft one bearing. I aligned the top shaft to be flush with the first cross rod. This acts like a mark so that I can do the same on the other side too. And this will also set the total height of the Z axis. Now I can loosely align the bottom shaft of the X axis. As I said this will just have one bearing. So all the smooth rods are in place. I haven't decided the exact distance at which they have to be screwed in. But we will come to know that when we are designing the X axis and the Z axis in the third episode. Make sure you buy this chrome plated smooth rods. It really helps in good smooth linear motions. The 8mm rods are plenty strong and do not flex. Because it's just 380mm long, it can take load even if I keep an aluminium piece to engrave. I'm sure that you might have some questions. Please leave them in the comments. I will make sure I answer them. If you feel that this video taught you something, then please like the video. Sharing the video helps me a lot. The next video will be more 3D prints and a key point in this build. To not miss it, please subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching this video. Until next time, happy learning.